Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Poco X3 GT versus the Poco F3. And guys, and the Poco F3 is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 processor with 8 GB of RAM. While on the Poco X3 GT, we have a MediaTek Dimensity 1100 processor which is based on 6 nanometer architecture and also we have 8 GB of RAM as well. On the back, we have a triple camera on both phones. We have a 48 megapixel main camera on the Poco F3 while on the X3 GT we have a 64 megapixel main camera. So I am really really excited to see that how is the Poco F3 is stacked up against the Poco X3 GT in apps opening speed as well as in the boot up test. So without any wasting time let's get right into it. Now let's see the boot up test. Here we go. And the logo is here more faster on the Poco F3 as compared to the Poco X3 GT and guys in both phones is running on Android 11 and also we have a MIUI version 12.5 and you can see new MIUI logo on the X3 GT and you can see in the Poco F3 it is a super super fast phone when it comes to booting up and the X3 GT it is, it is also right behind there about one second difference between these two devices and guess you can see that and both phones has a very similar display we have a full hd ips sd display with 120 hz refresh rate while on the poco f3 we have a full hd super amoled display with 120 hz refresh rate as well and also we get a center punch hole on both phones which is really really small on the poco f3 as compared to the poco x gt and also on the front we have a coding gorilla glass victus on the poco x gt as compared to Coring Gorilla Glass version 6, I believe, on the Poco F3. Now let's see apps opening speed. And guys, everything's closed up in the background, and you can see no application is running in the background. And also, we have same Wi Fi network on both phones. Now let's see phone dialer that is exactly the same. So, next on the list is the settings again, exactly the same. Now let's go to the display, and you can see we have 120 hertz refresh rate on both these two devices. No difference in that area now let's see amazon shopping on both phones and that is more faster on the poco x3 gt as compared to the poco f3 now let's see the scrolling exactly the same no lag whatsoever really really smooth on both phones again we have super amoled display and the display quality it is one of the best in this price range on the poco f3 now let's see some games application let's see candy crush sega Again, we have a Snapdragon 870 versus a Dimensity 1100 processor. Both phones is perform exactly the same. Instagram, exactly the same. Let's pin out. A little bit more faster on the Poco F3 as compared to the Poco X8 GT and Gas also. And the performance on the Poco F3 it is more stable as compared to the X3 GT because we have a MediaTek chipset and MediaTek chipset it is not really good in terms of the long term gaming. Let's see Snapchat, same result. Let's see Spotify, faster on the X3 GT as compared to the F3. Subwoofer, and let's see this time who is faster there. And X3 GT looks faster there. Let's see. And kissy X3 GT it is more faster there as compared to the Poco F3. Let's see Temper and two. And let's see which one is going to be the fastest one and the XGT it is again a little bit more faster there as you can see in game map running time XGT it is more faster there but i would say in actual game the f3 it is a much better phone as compared to the XGT now let's opening up the tutor faster on the XGT Zedge more faster again on the XGT now let's see the scrolling really really smooth 120 hertz no lag whatsoever so last time launching the cameras on both phones default camera app now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one more faster on the poco f3 as compared to the poco x3 gt okay guys now let's see internet browsing speed i am seeing to for google chrome on both phones and also we have same wi-fi network on both phones wikipedia.org faster on the poco f3 as compared to the x3 gt now let's see the scrolling Yes, in the start I see a little bit lag on both phones. Now let's open this English. And faster this time on the X3 GT. So now let's see the scrolling again. It will be smooth. 
no lag whatsoever 120 hertz refresh rate looks really really good on both phones and next on the list is the apple.com Faster on the Poco F3 as compared to the Poco X CGT, not a huge difference. Now let's see the scrolling. Again, really, really smooth. 120Hz refresh rate. So guys, now let's see RAM management on both phones. And both phones has 8GB of RAM. Now let's see that who is performed good in the RAM management. Again, we have a MIUI version 12.5 on both phones. Phone dialer, no refresh. Let's see settings. Amazon shopping. Let's see Candy Crush Saga, no refresh, Instagram, let's see Pinout, let's see Snapchat, Spotify, Subwoofer, let's see Temper and 2, let's see Detutor, no refresh, Zedge, last way back to the internet browser where if we left and you can see. And guys, over I have to say regarding the app's opening speed, as you can see that in the Poco X, the GTs perform more faster as compared to the Poco F3 in game map during in time. I would say that in system based application and both phones is perform very similar. And guys also in the PUBG mobile game, we have a smooth graphics with extreme frame rate on both phones, which is also available in the balanced HD, HDR. We also have ultra HD on the Poco F3 while on the Poco X3 GT and the extreme frame rate is only available in the, in the smooth graphics. After that, we get the ultra frame rate. In terms of the RAM image wise, as you can see that in both phones is performed really good in the RAM management. No refresh on both phones. So that's about it. And thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Poco X3 GT versus the Poco F3. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.